here's Margaret Larson. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to New Day Northwest. We are starting today off with beer, but more specifically, we are cooking with it. Jackie Dodd is an award-winning beer and food writer and photographer in Seattle known as the Beeroness. Her new book is called Lush, and it focuses on fruits, veggies, and craft beer. And Jackie's here to cook with us now. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. We don't get very many opportunities to start the day with beer. Well, that's because you need to hang out with me. <laughs> I absolutely do. So what are we making today? Today we are making a beer cheese sauce, and then we are mm. turning that into mac and cheese, and then we're turning that into jalapenos stuffed with mac it. and cheese. Tell me a little bit before we get started about what mm -hmm. beer does in terms of flavoring foods that if, like I don't drink a lot of beer, so I you don't should. think about it. <laughs> Again, hang out with me more. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the solution to all my problems <laughs> exactly. is right here. Let's hang out with um, more. What are what are the flavors that beer brings that we might be forgetting about? Yeah, well, you know, beer, I am, I'm an equal opportunity drinker, but there's something special about beer because there are so many more ingredients than, say, wine or whiskey, and you have such a depth and breadth of flavors, and specifically what we're dealing with here is hops, and hops are the magical ingredient that mm -hmm. started out being just a way to preserve beer, and now it's one of the dominant flavors of, like, your IPAs and your pale right. ales. Which that people have, love. Yeah, of course, they're great. Because they're great. Okay, so let's get started. What do we do? Okay, so this is my, you can even and make it when you're drunk, beer cheese sauce. <laughs> so it's it's just a really simple way to make beer cheese sauce without having to worry about it breaking, which is a huge problem if you're talking about any kind of like emulsification cheese sauce. So secret ingredient number one is just the evaporated milk that you've seen your you know your mom making brownies with or whatever. And why does not that work? sweet and condensed milk? It has oh, to say do that again. Not, not sweet condensed and condensed milk. milk, evaporated milk. Okay. And so basically why it works is because you take out a lot of the liquid, but you're leaving the milk proteins in. So Very it's like good. really nerdy science stuff. So just remember that it works. So <laughs> secret ingredient number two, okay. cornstarch. Another kind of nerdy science thing. It just keeps it from breaking. Well, so that's just important because that. there's nothing worse yeah. than when cheese it breaks that you separates. can't use it. You can't put it back yeah. together. So we so don't, don't want forget that to the cornstarch. So these are two things that will keep it from breaking. And Alrighty. then the not so much secret because it's called beer cheese sauce, so it's definitely <laughs> not a secret. The magical ingredient, and we're going to add about a half a cup of this. And that a lot of that is just flavor, and the flavors of hops and malt mm -hmm. go really well with cheese. So from there, oh, look at that. Get that yeah. So you just want to blend it for a little while and it just does, it takes all the work out of a beer cheese sauce that you have to kind of wonder when you're, you have to stop. Right. So, and you just look at it when that's it's creamy, it. you're done. So from there, you just want to heat it a little. Okay. And all that, that's going to sort of bring everything together is. and kind of thicken it a little bit. So it's, it's temperature, but it's also you know, thickness. Mm -hmm. So that was a wonderful texture when you poured that. I'm gonna have to have a bite of cheese now that it's just It's sort of that, there. like when you're at the grocery store, or the gas station, and they have that cheese sauce that you're like, how does this stay together? <laughs> like, I can't get it to stay together. It's sort of like that kind of texture and consistency. Except we don't want that it. cheese sauce. We no, want your cheese better. sauce. I promise. So, so from, we're heating it up. Yeah, you're just heating it up, and you're kind of waiting for it to kind of thicken a little bit. And the other great thing about about heating it up great or terrible, something to keep in mind, is that it will intensify the beer flavors. So okay. if you really want a really intense beer flavor, use a hoppier beer, meaning, a, you know, an IPA. If you want something that has a little bit less, more mellow beer flavors, mm -hmm. look for like a wheat beer or a Kolsch or something that is not sort of dominantly flavored with Okay, hops. very good. So do we cook the macaroni separately? Yeah, I, I cooked this already in advance. And so from there, you just let it kind of finish cooking in the cheese sauce. So you're gonna want like a pound of macaroni noodles. And the starch from the macaroni will also thicken the sauce. I was gonna so say it's that kind of like works. a we may be attacked folds. by the by the staff Situation. here shortly. Mac and, and cheese is a great. big favorite around here. Yeah, it's you know it's hard to not love it. You grew up with it, and it kind of transitions well to adult yeah. life. Well, and also this time of year when it starts to get a little colder, mm -hmm. it feels like yeah. that's one of those comfort foods. Now you're going to put it on some peppers, and when I first looked at these, I thought, now those aren't jalapenos because they're kind of giant. Mm -hmm. What did you do here? Well, it's kind of the end of the season, and so jalapenos have had a lot of time, and because mm -hmm. of our season was a little weird this year. We didn't get as much heat, so the jalapenos kind of had 
more time to grow bigger before they started to really ripen. But you said so we could use other peppers you can if use, we prefer. Yeah, any kind of pepper that's to your heat level. So if you like poblanos, if you like Anaheim chilies, mm -hmm, if you, there's some still hatch chilies on the market if you can find those, that those work really well. And this is a great, really kind of simple football food recipe. And now that the Seahawks are doing really well, like. Let's yes. just keep going with that, and I think part of that is well, like we making, that game. making some beer cheese sauce. Um, yeah, this is sort of like an alternative to nachos. Yeah, and it's sort of their finger food-ish, so people can kind of take some and put them on their plate. Right, very It's good also idea. a good time of year to start prepping your Super Bowl menu, because the last mm -hmm. thing you want is like Super Bowl day of trying a bunch of new recipes. So try ahead of time. I'm all, I'm like, all in favor. Like do some practice ahead Dare of time. Dare I ask how you became a fan of beer? Uh, you know, it was when I was really starting to get interested in cooking and I was interested in where my food was coming from. It kind of transitioned to like, where's my beer coming from? And how come these beers have just a completely different flavors than these other beers? And then you go down that rabbit hole and you learn, once I learned the kind of the nerdy side of beer, then I was done for. Really interested. So, and, yeah. com and combine the two loves, food, yeah. and, food and beer. Okay, so what so happens from now? from here, you just take a little bit and you just kind of just fill. Not a ton, right? Not a ton. Are these going to go back in the oven? Yeah, and so these will go back in the oven to just kind of, you know, melt the cheese a little. And if you want, you can kind of do what you want with the peppers as far as how, um, how soft you want them. If you want really, really soft peppers, then you can either pre-cook them or pre-boil them, or you can put them in the oven with the mac and cheese at like a lower temperature to give them more time to cook. Got it. But if you want kind of like a crispier bite, then you just fill them with mac and cheese. I think I want the crispy to go with the mac and cheese. Tell me about your book, Lush. Well, this is, uh, it's, I call it a season by season celebration of produce and beer because <laughs> produce is really obviously very seasonal, but mm -hmm. I think that a lot of people who aren't the, in the craft beer world don't realize that you know, beer is too. Every season, right now we're in the middle of fresh hop season, which is really, really exciting. Hops are harvested one time a year, which was just recently. So to use those fresh hops, the, the breweries were either, they'll either dry the hops or they'll use them fresh. And they can one time a year. And the Pacific Northwest is like, we grow 85% of the hops for the entire nation. So we it? get to use the fresh hops in our beers. Yeah, if we want to. So we are sort of, the rest of the world is very jealous that right now we can go to a tap room and get fresh hop beer. <laughs> but it's just how exciting the seasons are when it comes to beer. And so everything we need to know to get started is in there. Now, do you top this with cheese? Yes. Shall I do a little yeah, of that? Yeah, that would be great. Then how long do they go in the oven? For? They go in for about 15 minutes. You want to kind of soften the jalapenos a little bit and you mm -hmm. want to melt the cheese. And you know, you can kind of customize this to how you want it. You can put bacon on top of it, you can put breadcrumbs. I was just going to say breadcrumbs sound good, but bacon too. You can finish it with a little cilantro. You can kind of, kind of make these what you want them to be. Now the cheese sauce looks so good that I want to do other things with it. What else you can, can we do? You can kind of do anything with this cheese sauce. It's good for, you know, if you if you like to make homemade pretzels, like little pretzel Ooh. bites can dip in it. You can use it as like a fondue alternative. Now will it keep? Can I put it in the fridge or is yeah, this a... Yeah, you can. Okay. Like it this, really won't come apart. Because this is, you know, the way it is, it will um, thicken up a bit. But you just heat it up and you're ready to go. And if you ever have any problems, just stick it back in the blender. Blend it back up. Yeah. <laughs> it's as simple it as that. It can take some abuse, this okay. cheese sauce. Very good. Maybe you'll make a beer drinker of me after all. I know. Let's finish this last one because I, I have a sense of completion. Okay, if we yeah, do the and then last we can one. just throw them, throw them in the oven. I can put them in the and oven. I'm making and we're a mess. good. Yeah. Thank so you so much. You I appreciate it. All right, there's what it looks like when we're all done. Those beautiful peppers over here. Absolutely gorgeous. That looks so good. Okay, we do need some breadcrumbs though. Thank okay. you so much. I'm just well, feeling like you. I do because there me. aren't enough carbs, so we need just of, of course always more carbs. <laughs> more is always better. Jackie's my new best friend. Jackie's <laughs> recipe for these beer mac and cheese stuffed jalapenos are on our website for you to try at home, and we'll also link you to her website. She has lots of recipes cooking with beer. Thank you very much. Thank we you. appreciate it. When we come back, a helpful guide to financial wellness: how to manage debt and save more money. That's next. <laughs>